feel like skateboarding kind of ultimately originates from surfing and uh, I, I feel like it takes them those lines and you know it's gotten to a level now where it's, it's not even close to surfing but I really like when people are using that flow within skateboarding and kind of staying true to what it is in a sense. Masters Pro Tech Pool Party 2011. Masters. The Masters. The Masters. Masters. Grand Masters. I love that. <laughs> the difference between the Masters and the Pro Division, about 20 years. <laughs> Great Grand Masters. We're all 50 and over. This is the place. I mean, this is our history right here. It is what it is, right? We're here because you know, skateboarding has uh, a history. And, uh, you know, it just started off in the streets. Uh, inspired by surfing and before you know you took it to the pools. Back in the day it was a lot of ripping skating going on. It's almost a display of all of the older greats of skating in that atmosphere where they used to skate those bowls and they used to compete in those bowls and that's kind of like what I'm going there to see you know and I, I'm not trying to put that on anybody but that's what I'm foreseeing in my side like oh I'm gonna see Cab and Christian and like these dudes like Grosso, like Stedham, Kasai, Chris Miller, like, like good to see Radigi out there, Duncan. Those dudes, man, are so sick. Lance Mountain, uh, Cab, Christian, Jeff Grosso, Eric Nash, um, Pat Noho, Jeff Hedges, I don't know, the list goes on. Obviously, Steve Alba, I mean, he's, he's really the I think he, he represents the commie pool as much as anyone. These old park rippers like in there doing their thing and that's kind of like to me like my main like attraction. And a lot of the guys that were here are responsible for you know all that innovation, for creating tricks, for taking it in all these new directions. All their old bag of tricks come out and just to see everything that they've grown up doing and they just put it on dis display for us and like it's fucking amazing to watch. If you put 20 years on a skateboard, you're pretty much heart's in the right spot. It's like everyone's just back in the shallow end, you know? It's years and years, so it's like, <clears throat> you only get it if you were there and if you, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a different style of skating and it, and it has its own like diamonds within it. They may not be busting 10 feet over the top and it's not overshining like a mega blast of airs, but it's got its own like style and uh, awesomeness. I try to infuse the backyard style I have. A pool like this, even though it's like a built for a skate park, but it kind of puts backyard style lines to it. That's kind of what I try to do. You know, if it's like a backyard pool or whatever, I'm always looking like the obstacles. Like where's the light? Where's the shallow stairs? Where's the side stairs? What can I go over? That kind of trip, you know what I mean? There's a skate essence to skating where they're all that other shit's out the window. And it's, it's, there's a lot of mutual respect now that we're all older. And I respect, I think it's just cool that we're all up here and all these different styles. It's like when you're playing guitar, they got all these dudes, you know, like, you know, you, you like the Circle Jerks and Black Flag and, you know, Rolling Stones and Alice Cooper and Kiss. The same thing in skateboarding. There's all these different personalities and different guys and writing styles. And that's what makes skateboarding cool, you know what I mean? And there, there's guys that are, will just attack the whole thing just on like free will just they come up with lines they just go with what they got in front of them which everybody has to do at one point you know cabs lines are really good really smooth well you know what's funny is uh i kind of skate by feeling he really has a good idea of where he's at in the pool he takes his time he sets up and he's got like good trick selection i just see the tile and the coping Grosso, the way he attacks all the coping, he just did all the slides and everything. Just very controlled. Chris Miller, man, like he's just got the best lines. Like he's got the best lines. He kind of puts all the elements together with speed and just smoothness. Like it's just amazing, man. It's pretty awesome to watch. I go there to see the the nostalgic of that pool and what it what it stands for like I I want I go there to see that type of skating and those skaters 
and I would like to see more skaters from that era be in there. What is a Fedge, you might ask? It's Jeff Hedges out of old school Santa Cruz, San Francisco. Part of the original Santa Cruz team back in the 80s. It's a blast from the past. The old rippers just inside their element. 